What's up, guys? What is up, guys? What is up? What is up? Toast Bomb here, bringing you more Halo 4 gameplay commentary. Today, we're going to be breaking down Naked Eli's Halo game that he posted yesterday. Um, the reason we're going to do this is because it is 20 minutes long. That is a very long video, and there's tons of new information just packed in there. So what we're going to do is cut out all the extraneous stuff that we've already seen before, only get those nice juicy nuggets of information and overview those and break those down for you guys. So it's easy for you guys to digest. Those nice juicy McDonald's nuggets of information will go down nice and easy because we don't want any sort of gross, uh, you know, coming out the other end. We want it to come down nice and not either come back up or come back out in a bad form. So that's what we're going to do and hopefully it'll help you out. So first thing you're seeing here is options for picking your primary weapon, your grenade, your pistols, all that sort of good awesome stuff for your loadouts. And if you're seeing multiples of those weapons and you're like, what the heck, what does that mean? That is actually different skins for the weapons. So you'll be able to have an arctic camo skin for your BR or something like that. We also see a few new things in this list. For instance, one of them is called Explosives for the Support Upgrade. And this is something that, for COD fans, you might see this and just go, Oh god, not again. Not in this game, not again. We don't want Danger Close in here at all. Get out of here. Well, it's all right, because... This doesn't just increase the blast radius of your explosives. It increases the blast radius of the explosives, but decreases the damage. So it kind of evens it out. There's a good side to it, and then there's also a bad side to it. So don't worry if any of you guys saw that, and you played Modern Warfare 2 or something like that, and we're just... You heard that new tube sound, and you just got a horrible feeling in the bottom of your stomach... Don't worry, because that's not going to be happening in this game, so you're in the clear. Alright, so let's cut this out. Let's get to the beginning of the game where he actually does something. Alright, so right here, he deploys this regeneration field type thing. It's his armor ability that will allow him to punch the ground and burst out this cloud of healing powder magic pixie dust stuff. And it seems like it probably functions pretty similar to the Halo 3 regen equipment, but I'm hoping that it's not quite as effective because that thing was kind of frustrating, annoying, and seemed a little bit overpowered. I'm hoping maybe instead of just regening the shields by like, uh, fat, like, quickly like starting up the shields to regen them again maybe it just gives you like one and a half to like two times the shield strength so it's almost like you have an over shield while you're in it but you don't start recharging right away because it was really annoying if you were trying to br somebody in halo 3 while they were in the regen field and then they just weren't dying because their shields would just start instantly start recharging again and that just was really frustrating and annoying and inconsistent, and I didn't like that. Oh, sorry, did I say punch the ground earlier? I actually meant go freaking super sane. Holy crap, he just... And just... Bruh, magic powder heal you. Yeah, that's pretty much what he does. It looks like he's going to go super sane because his power is over 9,000. Um... Yeah, pretty awesome. Also, that weapon he's using is a new weapon called the Suppressor. Apparently, people are saying it can kind of be used at mid-range, but it's really just a super close, close-range weapon, And but in that range, it just freaking tears guys to shreds. It also just eats a lot of ammo to it. It has a super high fire rate, similar to that new saw weapon. And boom, cut over to here. Oh, he's getting in the Banshee. Watch out, people. Banshee bombs a galore. Alright, so here we get to see some slight differences to the Banshee that they've done. Um, now it seems like the Banshee, when you do that little backflippy little dealio thing, um, you dip down. So previously what people do is they just have their Banshee bombs out, similar to what Naked Eli is doing here, and they would just get really close to the ground, shoot a banshee bomb, and do a 
a backflip. And that was really crazy, and it was really effective. It was a really effective strategy. Um, now you have to be a little bit more careful when actually doing that, because when you do that backflip, you actually dip down and you'll kind of hit the ground and be much more vulnerable, or potentially even hit the ground so hard that you hurt yourself. So a little bit more difficult to pull off that trick. Also, the actual backflip itself seems to be a little bit slower. But even with these slight nerfs, if you will, to the vehicle, it still seems like in the right hands it could be an ultra powerful just demolishing everyone vehicle like it's been in the previous games. Alright, let's cut to the next part. Oh, what is that? Oh, he sees it. He's pointing at it. What is that? What is that? What? Whoa, 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 ho, ho, is that, yes it is, that is the beam rifle, that's right people, the beam rifle is returning in to Halo 4, the Covenant sniper rifle that we all love. The design of it has changed significantly, but it still seems to function very similarly to the classic beam rifle, oh man, and he picks up a triple kill with it, that's just nasty. Alright, another jump cut. Alright, here he's switching to the jetpack, and here we see him using it, and it, yeah, it pretty much seems like it functions very, very, very similarly to the Reach jetpack, but maybe is a little bit less thrust, you know, it's not quite as quick and snappy to get you into the air, it takes a little bit longer and it's not quite as powerful. Also, the meter on the jetpack, how long the jetpack lasts, actually seems to be considerably shorter than what it was in Reach. But I assume if you combine armor ability efficiency with the jetpack, that could be a deadly combination. But that is all the juicy nuggets for today in this video. If you liked the video, you can leave a like or a comment. If you really liked the video, you can subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day. If you saw something in this video that was like, what the heck, I've never seen that before and he didn't talk about it, why? It's probably because I've already made a video on it. So I'll have some links in the description to my most recent videos if you guys want to check that out for extra additional information. Also, this is not my gameplay, this is Naked Eli's gameplay, so I'll provide a link to his channel in the description as well if you want to check out his channel, he makes awesome videos, or the full 20-minute version of this gameplay. So yeah, that'll do it. See you later. Bye.